was just a nightmare. Alice. Hartman. Hi, everyone. I, fell, I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Faster. It's okay, okay Alan. Just, Just let go. go. Groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't ah! focus. There were only empty sheets of paper here. What? No manuscript pages. Uh, anyway, hello and welcome back to Alan Wake. I hope you're doing well. The door was locked. I was a prisoner here. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. That's what you fucking think. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. How's it going, Gorilla? Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. <coughs> Pardon me. This way, Alan. from past experience with you I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode so I'm just going to say this Alice is dead no you're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this Alice drowned and you couldn't face that you're suffering from hallucinations paranoid delusions unusual thinking an obsession about light and darkness a feeling that everything revolves around you your thoughts and dreams your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality i just she want to punch this guy already supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you we go this way alan i wasn't ready for another shot so i went along with it he had to be lying but under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic Run incident away. with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted nope. in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. That is a fucking nice sundial. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. Ah, 
never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. Why is he this holding way, his fingers like that? I mean, Alan, I can... what I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. All, Hartman I'm obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, I dug my nails into the palms myself. of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. Let's go inside. Well, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Simply like this guy should be fucking locked up in here instead of me. Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> Emerson. <laughs> I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video games. Ooh, yeah. It's ah, trash, mm, yeah. of course, mm, yeah. but it does I'll involve some the small head. creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. That's my kind of crazy. La 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 la. Da, da, da. Might have noticed the typewriter Gorilla. in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Well, okay. Hey, what are you guys doing here? My rheumatism is killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a, how should I put this, a heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Well, Odin and Thor, you're badass. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah. Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? 
It takes crazy to know crazy. Yes, it does. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson farm. Valhalla. We wrote it all down, lest we forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Coffee. Good thing he's not overreacting or anything. Well, he's the boss. Gorilla. I may need a hand here later on, Bert. Yeah, I hope you're all doing well. Looking after yourselves. Something's wrong here, but I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days. See, I think that is a real actor there. It looks like it. My editor is real. Hey, wait. Why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriters in your room. Okie dokie. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, wake. You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Just get the fuck out of here, man. Hartman had mentioned that the power had been out. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Well, things are unraveling fast, aren't they? <laughs> Sinclair looked. What the fuck? That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I could get the key in the office away from Sinclair. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd been keeping them. He hit her with a real hammer. What about us? office it's right next door you okay yeah i mean no no <laughs> these were all the pages i had on me and more alan please you're sliding back into the tell me one more lie and i'll shoot you in the face Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea. Hartman, shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful. With your ability and mine. Oh, he's fucked. Now we go get the fuck out of it. I have to find a way out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh shit. Out of my way. 
Uh, we can go upstairs. Turn on that Jenny. Run, Alan! Run, buddy! We need to get the battery. I got a trophy, you boot you. Thank you. Take this, Al. Give me a place, Lloyd Look at the house, Al! The whole fucking house is possessed! Oh shit! I'm trying, buddy. Oh, fuck, it's a goddamn maze, isn't it? I have fucking eight mazes. You know, I actually got lost in Tomb Raider 2 or Freeze maze once. It took me fucking ages to get out of there. Cheers, Barry. I dodged. I dodged. I know I fucking dodged. <gasps> you know what? It might just be a good idea to uh, get the fuck out of here. Run away! Okay, how the fuck am I gonna deal with two, a load of birds and him? Oh, 
So I'm guessing he's got a key. Two pills in the morning. Energized. Jesus freaking Christ, man, these birds are fucking annoying. I'm out of batteries. Oh, okay, dude. See you later, mate. Oh, fucking hell, thank Christ, the shotgun. Shotgun ain't gonna do shit though if I ain't got no flashlight. Shizer! Shizer! It would be handy if there was some shit around here I could use. Back off. Dodge Allen, what the fuck man? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh yeah, there's a fucking shotgun and everything in there. Is there no batteries or anything I can use in there? No. Third bank game is basically just telling me to go fuck myself. A flare. Come on, 
Come on, give me some batteries. Thank you. Yeah, I hope you're enjoying the episode, and uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome, pleasure to have you here. Consider dropping a uh, subscription. It helps the channel out quite a lot. Nice, now we're getting some gear. Now we're getting loads of stuff. Nice. Oh. Sorry about that. Where did you come from? Quarter really don't help my situation right now, mate. Come on, Barry. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. What the fuck? Now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were gonna say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm gonna live in it. inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this it helps this is happening Barry Alice they never had Alice she's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake but she's not dead Ow. 
How can you know that? I know, Barry. I can... Al! I... No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too... I love this game. ...tell me with all the drugs they were on, but they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! Barry! Barry, you're a badass, man. You're gonna have to find your way around to the farm, Al. I'll be waiting. Barry, just wait for me, okay? Al, I'm not staying here. It's suicide. I'm going to the farm. I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area. You can catch up. Don't worry about it. I'm on the case. Now he's Rambo. <laughs> this would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. Alright, well, I am going to end this episode here, but uh, thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. Like I say, if you're new to the channel, then welcome. It's nice to have you here. But uh, until next time, look after yourselves, and I will see you then. Uh, bye, everyone.